Hey fellow YouTubers, uh, this is a, down, a quick way to show you how you're possibly spending more money if you are buying a car from the dealership. So let's say you're buying a, a, a new car for $30,000. Uh, granted it could be a used car, but just you're acquiring another car. So it's $30,000. Your trade-in is $20,000. Okay. Sales tax, just use a round number, sales tax in this case is 8%. So dealer math is, is basically you got a $30,000 car, you got 8% sales tax, the price is $32,400 with sales tax, you got $20,000 in trade-in, so you owe $12,400. Do you see where the mistake is? Okay, let's look at it again. Again, we got a $30,000 new car. We have 8% sales tax. Our revised price is $32,400. You have a $20,000 trade. So, so you owe the dealer $12,400, okay? All that math drives, all that math looks correct. It is correct. There's no, it, it all adds up right. So do you see the extra $1,600 you paid? Well, you're not going to, but here's where it is. This math is correct in, in theory, but at the same time, how we came to this math, uh, if, if we are uh, thinking on behalf of the consumer is incorrect. They make more money this way and that's why they do it this way. This is the way you need to have a dealer do the math. You need to take the $30,000 new car. You need to deduct your $20,000 trade-in and that means there's a $10,000 balance that remains that you owe the dealer plus you factor in your 8% sales tax, and now you own $10,800. That's how you save your $1,600, is by deducting your trade from the cost of the car before you tax it. This is legal, this is ethical, dealers don't want to do it this way. Now, the reason, the reason why they don't want to do it this way is because this is a way they can make, an ex, in this case, an extra $1,600 off of you, and you never even knew it. So when you revise the math, your dealer's going to act surprised, like he didn't know about it, or he didn't know that there was a difference in the cost. Uh, he's going to play dumb about it. So also be aware that unless legally dictated by some sort of law. So, uh, tangible goods are what are taxed. Tangible goods are, you know, physical things you can touch, purchase, feel, prepared food you can eat, uh, what have it, uh, what have you. Those are things that you get charged sales tax on. Labor, labor services, labor repair, registrations, prep fees, extended warranties, title prep fees, etc. Those are all costs that really shouldn't be taxed because that's considered a service, it's labor related, it's not a good per se. So let's say in this case, you have this, a car, you have $800 worth of license and registration fees, you have $300 tile and document fees, you have $300 you know, car detail, you opted to have them tint your windows, that was $440, and maybe you changed some tires on it, and so there's a state mandated Man mandated $20 disposal fee. So that all comes out $1,860 and with 8% sales tax that comes at $2,008.80. So these are additional areas above and beyond what I just showed you where you can have different costs associated because it was taxed. Now in theory you should only pay tax on the material portion. So if the window tint was $440 and $40 of that was the actual tint product with $400 of, of labor, you're really only liable based on or for, for $3.20 uh, worth of tax in lieu of that all, all the tax that would have normally been charged relative to the prior page. So uh, if you accepted all the other charges taxed 
on the prior slide, you would have had an additional $445.60 of fake taxes, uh, which is, again, more money that ends up st staying in the dealer pocket as additional profit they hide from the customer. So anyway, that's that. Simple. Good luck saving money. Be smart. Take care.